seen Congress ignore a lot of people that march. What's going to make today different for us with regards to voting rights? You know, Dale, um, you know, yes, we've been marching for a very long time. Uh, those that are gathering at the U.S. Supreme Court today, this morning, are black women, the very black women that carry this election over the finish line on their backs. Black women representing the National Council of Negro Women, Black Women's Roundtable, Black Voters Matter, all of those organizations and those individuals that did everything that they needed to do to ensure not only a victory for this administration in 2020, but also delivering the Senate, will be sending a very strong message to Congress that it is time to protect and pass voting rights. We know that this attack on voting rights is a direct result of that very power of black women and the black and brown community um, and a diverse coalition of voters who came out to cast their vote. And we need to have the freedom to vote in this country. And the U.S. Congress, if 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 they are paying attention to America, this there is a wide uh, level of support for the freedom to vote. This isn't a Republican issue or the Democratic issue. It's a democracy issue. And we have to make sure that we do everything we need to do in order to pass this, even if that means ending the filibuster. But Joe, 